Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. Recently, I posted a video, van camping in November, and someone posted a really great question in the comments. So thank you, G Kemp, for that question. And it was, how do I plan on keeping my things dry in the van? And how do I plan on dealing with the moisture issue in the van? So I thought I'd make a quick video about it in case someone out here in van camping land or any land really, had the same thoughts or questions in their minds about van camping. Well, the first thing is, as you know, I'll be rock hunting, and in this weather, I'll be wearing waders. Waders are rubber, they dry quickly, and what I'm going to use to dry my waders off is a microfiber towel. So they're very tiny, but they are very absorbent. Now, how do I dry the towel out? That towel will just probably hang over my headrest in my van. Now you're wondering, well gee whiz, now you have a very moist towel in your van and there's already an issue with moisture in your van. So here's the thing, I'm not gonna be stationary. I'll be driving from beach to beach on the coast of Lake Michigan rock hunting. So when I turn my heater on, I will actually turn my AC on as well. I will have the dial, of course, to warm but my AC compressor will be on and it actually doubles as a dehumidifier for the inside of your van. So like you know when you get moisture on the inside of the windows, you turn your AC compressor on, but you have your heat on with it, it brings the moisture level way down. It basically gets rid of it. So I plan on using that method while I'm driving to kind of keep the moisture under control. So evening time moisture right it's cold my windows are closed I've got my covers on my windows but here's the thing we need a little bit of ventilation in here so even though on these windows these windows here the two front windows I'll have my magnetic curtains on I don't know if these windows in particular I will crack but the side doors where the windows slide down those windows I will crack you can see here right in the so picture you, I angled my camera this way so you could see that dark shadow is a rain guard that you install outside of your vehicle I have them on my passenger driver and on the sliding doors those are fabulous they keep the rain out you can crack your window a little bit and no one knows that your windows are cracked or that anybody's even in this van because you can't tell because the rain guard comes down about two two and a half inches I think on the outside of your window so you can crack your window down a little bit you can see from here you just crack it down right above the dark line there and no one knows your windows are cracked the weather tech reflectix that I have that go around my whole vehicle I'll still have those up but in the the back window right there up in the corner I will crack it a little bit I'll bring down the um, the reflectic a little bit to allow for circulation in the van. It's just really important. And again, I'm not heating the space in my van. I'm just working on keeping me warm, but I, I will keep that window cracked. That is that. So because I'm not in a stationary place, I'll be driving. The AC unit in my car will act as a dehumidifier when I'm driving and keep my van dry. So that's not gonna be an issue for me. I have also camped in the summertime before where it's been a little bit humid. It was actually in a thunderstorm this past uh, summer. And all I really had to do was keep my windows cracked with these rain guards on, because rain didn't come in. The moisture was able to run through you know, the van when it quit raining, rolled my windows down, and there was no issue. But when you're cooped up, windows are up, and this is your camping place, moisture can build up. I haven't had an issue yet to where I've had a ton of condensation on my windows van camping. I haven't experienced that yet, but I know it does happen. But anyhow, we will see how it goes. I just wanted to say thank you to G Kemp for posting that question. It's a really great question. I hope this video was helpful to everyone on how to deal with moisture in the van. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I'll catch you later. Until next time.